Hey Slick Review fans, coming at you with another video. Today we're checking out the very popular hyperdrive for the iPad Pro. If you are new to the channel, we do a lot of tech reviews and advice, so make sure to hit that subscribe button, but let's get started. All right guys, so we're gonna get right into it. I'm very excited to check this product out because I am looking to fully equip my iPad Pro as a true MacBook replacement. So this will hopefully complement the bridge keyboard that I have, and hopefully by adding these ports, I won't need to upgrade my MacBook anytime soon. So anyway, checking out the packaging here, very nice presentation, very professional retail packaging here. So we're gonna talk about this in more detail, but what we have here is an HDMI port, USB-C, full-size SD card, micro SD, USB-A, and a 3.5 audio jack. So looking at the back, really not much there. I mean, there's a nice little graphic there, but that's really about it. So let's get right into it here just comes in a regular plastic tray here, so we'll get the packaging out of the way. So right up top, here's the device itself. We'll set that off to the side for a second. We get a couple extra screws we'll talk about in a second here. And then inside there is a screwdriver, another adapter, and then this longer dongle, because if you wanted to, you could use this for any other device. It's just USB-C. So you can plug this into a MacBook, into a Windows, machine that has a USB-C port, you can use this device for really anything you want. It's just designed with the iPad Pro in mind. So these different adapters here, they are labeled use with a screen protector. This one is labeled use without. So depending on how you have your iPad set up, you just switch out whichever one with this tiny screwdriver here. And then to use it with any other device, you just take this bracket off screw this on, and then you have the complete dongle to use with whatever you like. So we're gonna set this extra stuff off to the side for a second and take a look at the device itself. So I got the space gray to match my iPad Pro, and it has a nice aluminum finish here. Does look very nice and will complement the iPad Pro beautifully. So this is the side that you're meant to see. No branding or anything at all, which I do like. On the back is some tasteful hyperdrive company branding, and the obligatory little regulatory stuff here. Now on the side, what we have here is USB-A, full-size SD, micro SD, USB-C, 3.5 audio, and HDMI on the side. So let's grab the iPad Pro quick and see how this fits. So here's my iPad Pro with my bridge keyboard, and this hub fits right on the side in the USB-C port, and it fits beautifully. So then if we open the iPad up, we can check this thing out in action. So like any other dongle or anything that you might be used to, we have a micro SD card here, and as soon as we pop it in the slot, and it does have a nice satisfying click to let you know that it's inserted, it goes right away to the photos import screen, just like you'd expect it to do. So we can pop that out, and that works with full size SD cards as well. So the next thing we'll check out is to make sure that the 3.5 audio works. So let's get some music going. So this is playing out of the speaker on the iPad. And then as soon as we plug in the headphones, then the audio transfers here. So that is really cool. So if you miss the 3.5 audio port that Apple likes to kill off, you can get that back with the hyperdrive. And another important thing to mention is that the USB-C port on the side here does support power pass through as well. So while you're doing all of this, you can still keep your iPad charging. And one last thing that I wanted to show you guys is that the HDMI port does work. I've got it hooked up to a Vizio Smart TV and it's playing at 1080p. Now the hyperdrive does support 1080p and 2K at 60 hertz and 4K at 30 hertz. So you should be able to throw your iPad screen onto any larger monitor or TV that you have around. So guys, I gotta tell you, the hyperdrive combined with the bridge keyboard that I did a review on a couple weeks ago, this all together really is a MacBook replacement. And to be completely honest with you, I have toyed with the idea of replacing my ancient 
2015 MacBook Air over here, but realistically, I don't have a need to. And I will be buying a 4K monitor soon, which I can plug this into. So really, there's no reason for me to buy a MacBook. I do all of my content creation on my iPad Pro, and the hyperdrive makes it even easier. So that with the bridge keyboard and if you missed this review i'll put a card up here for you to check it out but all together ipad pro bridge keyboard hyperdrive you have really a powerful macbook alternative and then like i said with the keyboard and now the hyperdrive i've got everything i need right here my question for you guys is what do you think about the hyperdrive is this something you've been looking for what do you think of this solution to add all of these ports that apple seems to be cutting from all of their products let me know what you think down in the comments but if you guys have any other comments or questions please do leave them down below i try to get to every single one find me on social media so you can stay in touch but most importantly guys please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button that's all I've got for you this time, guys. See you next time.